Hi guys, so uh, today in this video I'm going to show you how I clean my speedy bag so I've got my gloves on, disposable gloves because I'm pretty much allergic to anything so um, this is a vintage one, speedy 30 I thought I'd show you what I use and how I clean my bags so this one is pretty old, it's 1991 made. It would be nice if you stuff your bag before cleaning because then it's got a structure you can let it sit, like let it stand with a structure. So. Ah, 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 my dog's got stuck. So I've got this that one. So um, what I use is I'm not ready, am I? <laughs> I keep picking up things. So, so I use uh, non-alcohol uh, or fragrance and alcohol-free wipes, wet wipes. So I got these from Morrison's. I think they're 59p each for 264. Sorry, 64 wipes. Uh, they did not make brand so they're, they're really good they're for sensitive skin because my children are sensitive I don't want any smell so I just buy one for this and I use I use it I keep this for me so you're gonna use subtle soap I'm gonna use subtle soap <laughs> and I have a colonial 1909 conditioner leather cream so this is the one I use for conditioning and I also I'm going to use a sponge, magic sponge or sponge, cleaning sponge. And I'm going to try this carbon cleaning solution for the first time. So see from one handle to another, we're going to use a different solution or a different um, yeah, agent to clean. See which one is better. So I got this from Love, Lo Love Lolo. I've just uh, done a review and I've got some sponge from her as well. So I just want to cut these. Firstly, you don't want to use that much bigger for your for the hat for that you know small um, handle. So if it's a big part that you're cleaning, you use the whole thing. But sometimes I use even that. So I sometimes use that depend depending on how big the vachette is. Otherwise, this much is fine. So let's gonna let's try. I always have been using this saddle soap. So any saddle soap. This is from Timson. Love Lolo. They they do sell uh, carbon uh, carbon brand saddle soap as well. So do check their websites as well. I can get it on Amazon as well. So firstly, I'm gonna wipe it with uh, wet wipes just to wipe any hopefully dirt come out. But really. All is coming out is that much. Yeah, I, I don't know if you can see. There's nothing really. You really need it. As you can see, they are really dark and dirty. The meat, the vach the vachetta is dark and dirty. So most of the time, the inner the inner part of the handle is the dirtiest one because uh, your hands get oily, and then when you when you come to pick up your bag it gets all the oil from your hand and then the dirt sometimes you know you can't you can't help it so let's try that much and start doing this oof after two scrub already dirt that's dirt that's not the vachetta color that's dirt literally dirt you can soak it in you can soak it with that i love to use a lot so you can see let me come closer the lighting is really bad um, it's too bright in my living room and there's nowhere to film film this with space and much more lighting than this look at that dirt so I'm gonna stop there now I'm gonna go around and pick up all the um, saddle soap from my gloves Let's go round, 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 round. I'm just trying to show it to you. Look how much have come off already. And that one there. So you you want to keep doing it. 
And I'm gonna go on the inner part now. I don't know the best way to show it to you. I should have got a table here. So just keep scrubbing. Keep scrubbing. You wouldn't be able to get these white. Not white anymore. Uh, because they've already uh, created uh, patina over the years. This was 1991. How old is that? Almost 30, 29 years. 29 years old. So it's created that patina. So you can't get it white as new. So you can get it clean and nicely even patina. But you have to be aware when you inspect your handle, you have to see if they have cracks. If they it, the cracks don't show uh, before you clean they they might have you can feel them or they might have like surface cracks that one when you started cleaning them because you take one layer off of the the bachetta it will show some of them show it's not really the product it's the bag itself it's the handle that have got a crack already that's underneath but it's just the oil or the coating and the dirt that's covering the handle that's why you can't see it so now I've done quite a little bit of cleaning I want to wipe it off with wet wipes for now because I do sometimes do it once once all over the vachetta all of the vachetta first and then after that I'll do it again it's like every after cleaning I wipe it off so that that agent that saddle soap won't soak into your handle you need to wash it off every time or wipe it off so look at that dirt and look at these so that's you don't want to use that anymore that one while it's drying you're gonna go through all of the machetta one by one and then I'm I want to do it depends when it's almost dry you can see if if you're happy with it uh, stop and let it dry and then put conditioner otherwise I would go through second time sometimes when it's really dirty third time but most of the time second time is fine so the shine is gone because that is oil that you just took off so now we are going to use these carbon pro so she swears by this uh, that this is really good so let's try it I don't know if you have to soak it really well so let's get new I'm gonna get new uh, wet wipes to wipe these handle. Just checking if there's uh, cracks because I don't think any agent will crack this unless it's not suitable for it. But I've been using saddle soap for a long time. See, it's just uh, oil came off, but nothing really. So I'm gonna start wiping this off. Let me go forward with this one. See if it works. Ah, after two scrubs. So I've soaked it really well, almost halfway. <laughs> oh my god, this is really soaked. Hang on, let me, I have to go quickly. Oh yes, oh my god, it's really soaked. I hope it's not gonna ruin this. I didn't know it's that, uh, it will soak that much. I didn't know I put that much because it's like water, the, the consistency is like liquid it's like water and the color is like water as well there's no color so i couldn't see oh, i got overwhelmed oh my god i hope my bag is gonna be okay so right let's wipe that off um i want to wipe it off with dry as well because it's been soaked so anyway that's gone really dark but look at that look at that dirt and I've done it really quick and it's got it's done that much it's got that much dirt that's really good first impression I'm gonna use the back the back of this for the underneath of the strap <laughs> this is really good oh my goodness you have to buy this See, I, I didn't know they have this one. I just asked uh, Louise from Love Lolo. I messaged her on Facebook and asked about what, uh, what any any other um, stuff that that is that she found out, knew that is good for Vachetta, for Louis Vuitton. 
and she said uh, we have this new new product we haven't got it on website yet we haven't put it on so yeah she just invoiced me for it and and I bought two you see I took the risk I bought two but it's good it's good so far I, I want to try it with it looks so soaked but let's see when it's dried I need to put something so that I know it's this one uh, anything sticker do I have anything here right I've got a paper bit here so that so that I know this is the handle for which product isn't it so and then I'll show you later on that one okay let's continue I want to do this side all the carbon cleaning solution and that side for the saddle soap I'm going to continue cleaning now or I think I'm going to show you how I do the canvas now because I don't want this video to be so much longer and hopefully by the time I finish this video it's all all dried up oh this gone really dark doesn't it I hope it dries but anyway I found something new to clean the vachetta uh, I'm not recommending this because I haven't seen anywhere that it's safe to use on canvas but I was so so uh, mad about cleaning when I started cleaning I have to clean 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 so my vintage bags at the bottom they're really dirty and some of them the whole vachetta um, canvas so let me try and show you I haven't cleaned this before so let's try and wipe anything here there is just tiny amount that it came off that dirt came off so I'm gonna try I'm not gonna use sponge on the canvas I'm just I'm only gonna use saddle soap did I use saddle soap or cream I can't remember now so I'm gonna use a clean wet wipe and use saddle soap oh sorry I'm gonna use a saddle soap not wet wipe saddle soap and this goat's brush from colonial as well so let's try and buff it this is really nice and soft I've tried it on my skin it doesn't hurt it doesn't scratch you it tickles you it's like a scrub body scrub so let's try and brush it uh, do a round stroke circular motion stroke so let's do that just on this spot just to do some experiment you can uh, definitely use it with uh, fairy liquid your dishwashing soap uh, that one I've tried it it should be safe with can canvas so now it doesn't show there now let's uh, get clean wipe wet wipe and wipe this off see if it works <gasps> look how much that <gasps> I've done it before and I was surprised I thought oh I'm gonna make a video out of this when I got this I've tried it with one of one spot of my one of my bags oh my goodness look at that it's still coming off see did you see at first when I've done it with just the wet wipes it didn't do anything so you can definitely use um, fairy fairy liquid I've done it before with uh, a brush I think um, a brush that I got something like this but this you see this is a kitchen brush and it's rough uh, it can, it scratches you scratches your skin but that's the one I used before like years ago I used it before but because I've been busy I'm only trying to clean the handles you know of my bags so when I got this two weeks ago I tried it immediately with the canvas and I thought I'm gonna make a video and I'll show you what what it has done so it's like magic I'm gonna do it again especially this area here so let's see so it's come out just tiny little bit of dirt there it's just it's like a dust is that my postman I'm not sure if that's my postman because I've got I've got a special delivery coming and it's now half past 11 Friday I think it's 7th of March yeah so I'm gonna use I've 
pumped one pump of that saddle soap and I'm gonna use the same goat brush. There's my postman. I've got a parcel! I'll do a separate unboxing video on that one because I'm too excited to receive that one. I've got another one, I don't know what that is. But let's do these. Sorry about that. My postman is really good. And um, sometimes it's it's not Saturday delivery. Most of the time, that when when they post the bag special delivery for uh, a Monday guarantee, she, he delivers it um, on a Saturday. So I have to be there. I have to be home before one when I'm expecting for Monday. Um, I tell my husband that we they go for football. Uh, on a Saturday and they come back at 12 so I, we have to wait until 1 o'clock until he arrives <laughs> or uh, at least I have to wait I have to get 1 o'clock gone before we uh, we go look at that oh my god this is a big thumbs up guys this is a big thumbs up you have to try this use uh, fairy liquid it's not even it's just me so I'm also using it but I've tried a uh, fairy liquid before. You can definitely use fairy liquid with your uh, canvas. It's just the cleaning, you know. It's not harsh chemical like bleach or anything. Um, I don't know about the ingredients of saddle soap, but I've looked. I can't find the ingredients. I thought I might as well try. I'm taking my own risk, but um, I wouldn't suggest you to do it. Otherwise, you're gonna blame me if something happened to your um, this coloration happened to your uh, canvas. But this is now drying, and there's no discoloration on here. Um, but I definitely will recommend because she used this for the mulberry. She's got lots of mulberry and Chanel and she used this alongside with, um, I think, uh, leather cream to clean and protect, uh, the mulberry bags and Chanel. She uses them, but I didn't see her using this for Louis Vuitton, um, canvas. She's got a video that I I've seen like a few years back. So I said, can I use it on canvas? She said, you can try. It's, um, she said, uh, you can try either of these. They're very soft. The other one is probably about 10 pound or 11 pound. This is the cheaper one, 4.99 or 5.99. You have to check it, check it out. Love Low Low Accessories uh, website. And they're on Facebook. As, uh, are they on Facebook? Uh, I don't know. It's um, Louise Hunt, uh, her name, the name of the, the seller, the business seller. So it's the colonial, I'm sure it's the goat's hair, goat's hair. So I definitely recommend that for your bags, even if they're new, that you've used them many times. You know, when you put them somewhere, it's not always clean, especially this vintage bag. This is 29 year old bag. So you don't know that the, the previous owner have been cleaning the bottom of the bag or the whole vachetta so uh, I want to show you now the the handle so I'm not gonna go through all of it I just want to show you how I clean it and what do I use so this one is the so this one is the hang on this one is the carbon cleaning solution carbon cleaning solution this one it's now started to dry because I soaked the sponge really wet it was really soaked uh, I didn't know that uh, I put too much so it's now drying there's no cracking in there it's now drying really nice this one is the um, saddle soap you have to do a lot more scrub and effort to do that but it's nice and clean this is the the saddle soap one it dried very quick because it's um how do you say that um because when you pour it it's like a uh, mousse yeah it's in a mousse form so it just it quickly dried or maybe because it's um mousse i didn't i just put enough you know just enough because it's growing so bigger but this one aerosol one, you have to be careful because the consistency, if I show you, if I can show you, see the color, did you see that drop? The color is just basically like water and it's the consistency is like water as well. So you can't see, you have to be careful not to soak it just like I did. This is still wet. 
so I probably have done oh it's this one look look see it's still soaked because I've put too much so you probably have to put just a, a tiny bit and try it and then keep putting on keep adding on but don't soak it at the moment it's still drying but it's cleaned really nice it's cleaned really nice it's still um, drying it's gone too too much but I would uh, definitely recommend both saddle soap is is I've tried and tested it they do carbon carbon a uh, colony colonial products do carbon uh, sorry saddle soap as well I keep getting confused um, so you can try this new product as well it's really nice you have to do a lot of effort with um, saddle soap in terms of scrubbing but this one you you you, do, you only need why am I stuttering you only need a, a little bit of amount and a little bit of effort less effort so you can use both it's up to you whichever is available or whichever is cheaper maybe it's up to you but I definitely recommend both of them the colonial I can't remember the name cleaning solution and saddle soap saddle soap you have to be careful of saddle soap because there are saddle soap that are oily I think but yeah I only use Timson I've used Timson for years and I've used the carbon the colonial saddle soap as well so I can only vouch for these two and you can at first about four years ago I, I don't want to use magic eraser because they are uh, very uh, it's like they said I've heard that they said it's like um, sandpaper it's like using a sandpaper on your uh, bachetta and it it dries it out and it um, it gives it cracks but I've tried it and it never done to mine if they have superficial cracks already that were underneath you can't see they will do cracks anyway but I what I do is I just double wipe them when I'm finished I wipe everything again so I wipe everything again you will see some more um, brown vachetta so so that I'm sure that it's almost 99% off the product is 99% off the of the the vachetta so when it's dried what I do is you have to leave it 24 hours to dry if you don't have a patient like me I use the low setting hair dryer which I don't recommend but it, I, I tried it and tested it so it's I just put it on the cold setting and far don't put it really close because it still get hot and it might burn your vachetta and yeah or just be patient put it next to the radiator don't stick it in radiator on the radiator because it might melt so um, just put a chair hang it on there like that next to it it will dry so you have to leave it really dry before adding conditioner or putting conditioner on so what I do is when this is fully dry overnight so I just put a layer of it all over the vachetta and then let it dry for I just let it dry for one hour two hours and then after that I buff it with a cotton cotton cloth clean cloth I buff it all over the friction gives it a shine and I like this 1909 colonial leather cream because this is this makes it uh, this give it a shine you know this give it a shine I found that this give it a shine I also use big four leather conditioner I got from Amazon they're on eBay now as well I got this this was shipped from US this was like one two years ago and it's uh, 473 mil for like was it 15 pound or something but or 11 pound and um, you can get it on eBay now uh, and they have uh, UK shipping I think they're in, available in the UK now so you can definitely check that out and this one it conditions you can use it for conditioning for cleaning polishes and protect I I think it says here will not darken finish leather but this will not darken finish leather when it's dried out it's it's all will dry it wouldn't uh, darken the leather 
uh, you have to buff it when it's dry you have to buff it as well it will give it a bit uh, a good shine hang on I'm just checking I think it's very dirty thing you know. I think I don't know somebody has told me who, who's told me that this big four is good uh, it will uh, protect it from water stain as well but I'm not sure it doesn't say here it just says condition cleans polishes and protects so it might protect from water stain I don't know but um, yeah look they're almost the same now that's good oh I forgot to take a before and after picture I could have shown you but I've showed it uh, earlier anyway well, I think that's it uh, I didn't want to do the whole bag and do half hour cleaning here because when I clean I take my time and it takes a long time to do it so I thought I'll show you how I clean my bags because I love vintage bags and I love cleaning bags when I have the spare two hours when the kids are at school when I have the spare time I clean bags because it uh, it's so refreshing so good it just uh, calms me down so very therapeutic for me and sometimes I do um, uh, coats the glazing of the very old bags as well not bags uh, SLGs wallets something like that um, with um, what's that paint called so I hope you learn a lot in this video please please give this a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please do I would love to see you in my channel and please comment below what have you been using to clean your uh, Louis Vuitton bachetta or canvas and did this video made make or give you more information is it very helpful let me know please in the comment and I hope to see you in my next video bye bye